Yo, what's up guys, it's Grant bringing you another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to move uh, Google Chrome or any other programs from your hard drive to a new SSD if you have one. Uh, so today I got a new SSD and obviously I had all my stuff before just on the hard drive but I want to use some or move some of my most used programs onto the SSD uh, just for increased performance. Um, so I'm basically going to be showing you how to do this as quickly as possible in this video. Um, this doesn't work with everything. This is for basic, you know, programs like it'll, this will work with Chrome, most browsers, most software, stuff like that. Um, you can also just move this entire program files if you have a large SSD. But I have about 700 gigabytes of stuff on my hard drive. And my SSD is only 250 gigabytes just because I only need it for basic stuff so that I won't be doing that. But you could technically just drag this whole thing into there, I believe. Um, but as far as individual programs, if you want to do Chrome, uh, it's going to be in one of these. So you have to look through them. Um, I believe Chrome is in this one. I don't know what the difference is, but you just got to look till you find it. Uh, Chrome is actually under Google, so you're going to click Google. And you're just going to drag Chrome over to the SSD and it'll copy like that and then once it's copied to the SSD you're just gonna go ahead and delete it uh, you probably should end Chrome first or quit out of Chrome first alright so I've exited out of Chrome give it a second Yeah, so make sure you don't have Chrome running in the background. Uh, use Task Manager and just end the task, uh, if you don't know. And then go into the SSD, see if Chrome's there. Obviously, it transferred over. And you, the only way to launch it now is you have to go through the SSD, through all the folders, like I just said, or just showed. And then you're going to click Chrome.exe, and that will launch it. Um, so, yeah, it saves all your tabs and everything like that, especially if you're signed in. So there's nothing that could really go wrong by doing this. And you're just going to want to remove the old desktop shortcut or whatever and put the new one in because that one linked it to the Chrome that was in the uh, hard drive. Yeah, so these are just shortcuts to uh, your programs that are in any of your drives. So obviously you want the one that's in your SSD, uh, that shortcut link down here. Um, so yeah. Once it's in there and you've deleted it from the local disk, that's literally all you have to do. Now Chrome is on your SSD and no longer on your hard drive. Uh, like I said, that will work for other things as well. Like I'm going to move a video editing software uh, right after I make this video. But yeah, pretty simple process. Uh, hopefully this helped you. If it did, uh, leave a like, that'd be great. And subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.